Our science question is, why do we put salt on sidewalks when it snows? Yeah. Hmm. Um, we put salt on sidewalks when it snows because we want to uh, raise the freezing point of, of ice or of water. Um, if we could jump to my screen really quickly. Um, there's just a fancy picture of somebody pouring ice on the sidewalk because I thought you needed to see that. Um, but this is the picture I really wanted to show you. So uh, the reason that uh, putting salt uh, on ice raises the freezing point and allows the, the uh, essentially allows the ice to melt more easily is because um, salt, uh, the salt that we're typically using here is sodium chloride. Um, so sodium chloride is composed of sodium ions and chlorine ions. And uh, when salt dissolves in water, it dissociates into positive sodium ions and negative chlorine ions. And these uh, dissolved uh, compounds inside of the water essentially make it harder for water molecules to join together and freeze into ice crystals. So um, you know, if you have a day where it's kind of maybe right around freezing temperature, um, or maybe just above and you want the, the snow to be melting more quickly or the ice on your sidewalk to be melting more quickly, when you sprinkle that layer of salt uh, onto the ice, some of that salt will begin to dissolve in the layer of uh, the very thin layer of water that's sort of on top of that ice. And, and that process will make it harder for any of that water to refreeze later. Um, so it just essentially accelerates the, the melting process. So that's about all I can say about that. But maybe, maybe we just needed a quick one. Yeah, that's, uh, that's interesting, though, because that it actually raises, you said raising, raises the freezing point. Or, yep. Yeah, I thought it was actually somehow warmed it. Yeah, some people will argue that the, the process of the dissolving uh -huh. actually releases heat, and that does some of it, but, but okay. that's largely not true. It seems like the main mechanism is the salt molecules or the, the salt ions essentially get in the way of a water molecule okay. refreezing to other water molecules. Just the concentration of water molecules is lower. There's salt getting in the way. Um, and then that means that all the pure water that's ice down below can be melting while melted water is unable to refreeze. Okay. Does that sort of make sense? Yeah. That's essentially yeah, the process. Hmm. I was going to ask if altitude has anything to do with it. Do you have a quick answer for that? Um, altitude does affect boiling points and freezing yeah. points. The specific, though, I'm not exactly I've sure. I just noticed the head. difference between winters here and winters in on the flatlands. Yeah, so basically at lower elevations, stuff should melt faster because there's more air pressure. Mm -hmm. And so molecules should move faster, and so things should heat up quicker. Yeah. Um, Ooh, I that makes. I mean, I think that answers case. my question. Yeah. Okay. It does. It answers my question. 